In this video, I will walk you through how to embed Dynamic NetTwain to your WinForms application. First, we'll need to open Visual Studios and create a new project. We'll want to create a Windows Forms application, and in this case, we're going to name it DNT Demo. Now that we've got the new project started, we're going to open up the DNT Demo, we're going to go to Add, and we're going to click Reference. In References, we'll have to browse and go to the correct folder and find dynamsoft.twain.dll. Next, we'll drag a button onto the form. We'll double click it to open up the code. First, we'll need to add the namespaces. Copy and paste the code that can be found in the developer guide PDF. Now we can copy the code for the button presses. That's all that's required for scanning. Now we're going to look into the next steps. Next, we'll initialize the license, which should come with your installer. In the installer, go to the License Keys tab. Here you can copy and paste your license key into the code. That's all that's required for scanning. Now we're going to look into the next steps. If we want to save the scanned images to the local machine, we'll need to implement the interface iAcquireCallback. First, we'll add iAcquireCallback. We'll show potential fixes, and then we'll implement the interface. Comment out the existing exception throw line. For those that return a bool, return true. We'll now modify on post transfer. Here we're going to save to a local directory. We'll build and run the project by clicking start. Once the project starts, we'll click the button. Here we'll select the scanner that we have connected. We can enter any settings that we want to use. And then we'll see that a new file has been created. This new file is the one created from our scan. If you'd like to have the image viewable before saving, we can also add a viewer. Choose items. Once the list loads, we'll find the item that we need to add. In this case, we're going to have to browse for it. We'll need to add dynamsoft.forms.viewer.dll. Now DS Viewer should be in the list. Select it and click OK. Drag and drop the DS Viewer onto the window. We can change the size of the viewer as needed. Now we'll need to add two more references. Right click References and click Add Reference. Browse again and select Image Core DLL. Now go back to Form1.cs. In here we'll need to add the Image Core. We'll copy and paste the code for creating and binding the Image Core object from the How to Use guide. And then we'll uncomment them out. Now we'll run the application again. This time, after scanning and selecting our settings, we'll be able to see the image in the viewer. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please let us know.